Hello and welcome back to Flight Sim World. Thank you very much for joining me in this episode. And today we are going to do a little bit of a flight around New York, uh, the island, New York City. And we're going to go over is it Manhattan Island and we'll go over that. And we're going to have a look at around the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, that sort of stuff. And we're just going to take a little bit of a look around the area just to see what it's modeled like in Flight Sim World and where it needs to improve or you know where it is already fairly good so let's have a look uh, i'm in the pa46 malibu mirage we're going to be going over at fair, a fairly high speed we're going to see if we can maintain 160 or 168 knots so maximum speed on this aircraft cruise speed that is so we're going to do that uh, let's make sure everything is ready to go first so let's actually have it's a winter's day as you can see it has been snowing and i think it's still snowing in some places so we're going to switch on some uh, we're going to switch on some de-icers we're going to put the windshield heat on high obviously our pitot heat has to go on so we'll switch that on what else do we have here Wow, that's actually quite low res. That needs to work. Uh, that needs to really be improved. Air conditioning we'll have. We'll put the blow on high. Uh, we'll put the auxiliary cabin heat up. And we'll put the defog on just in case. And we will put the... I don't know what that is. Stall warning heater. Yes, let's put the stall warning heater on. So we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to actually fly with a few VORs. So we're just going to tune in uh, the ones that we want at the moment. We're going to start with... Let's go over here. We're going to start up and we're going to tune in the Canarsi VOR. Uh, anyone who knows the area around New York knows the Canarsi and the Canarsi climb. We're actually going to fly towards the Canarsi VOR to start with and then we're going to so what we're going to do is we're going to take off we're going to bank towards the Canarsi VOR on a radial of well I haven't decided the radial just yet. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out very very soon so let's actually tune that up. Now I'm just wondering where that pops up on here. I'm assuming it's this. I'm, I'm guessing that it's this. So I mean that that moves a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to set that up to be. Uh, let's see. I want to fly. I'm going to say the direction we're facing, and then we want to be east. We want to probably be something like that uh, 110 degrees I'm hoping that that works how I want it to work I, I've, I've never worked out how to use these properly I do need to I don't know why some of these textures are blurred out today I'm not too sure what's going on uh, the second one what we need to do is we're going to actually tune in the uh, VOR for let's have a look uh, should we go for LaGuardia Let's tune in LaGuardia, which is 113.1, I believe. So let's tune that in. Because we are going to be landing at LaGuardia today. We're going to take off from Kennedy, as you see. Uh, and for that, I don't know. I don't even know if that's working at all. I've never worked out whether things on this aircraft are working correctly or not. I've never, ever worked that out. Um, because I've, I've always had a feeling that there are things that don't work on this aircraft quite as well as they're supposed to. For example, I know I know that this doesn't work, the weather radar, which is a bit annoying. But that's okay. Let's actually uh, have a quick listen, see if we can hear the Canarsie VOR. Apparently we can't. Let's switch the speaker on. Maybe it's on a speaker. Put the volume up. No. That's see. I've I've had this issue before, and I'm just not sure what's going on. Anyway, we're, we're just going to. If that doesn't work, we're just going to fly completely VFR. There's no air traffic in the area, of course. So we're just going to take off and fly. So it looks like we're on runway what? Uh, one, one four. We're on runway fourteen. One runway fourteen. So we're going to take off, and then we're immediately going to turn towards Canarsie, which means that we're going to turn to a heading of zero nine zero, uh, which is going to be actually hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, take off and then 
I'm just trying to work out what heading we're on. We need to turn on a heading of two. So we need to turn on a heading of yeah two seven zero or thereabouts. That's what we're going to do. So let's uh get ready to take off. The flaps are already down. I don't know what the frames are going to be like in New York. That's another test that we have here. So let's have a look. Smoothly power up. There we go. Watch the rudder. Got a little bit of crosswinds today, as you can see. And easy on the takeoff. There we go. Positive rate. Flaps in. Gear up. You can see what the crosswind did there. But we're not here to debate crosswind tactics at the moment. I'm going to fly a little bit, I suppose to fix to compensate for that crosswind I suppose I can do that so let's actually compensate for that crosswind right now like so I didn't actually check the winds or anything in this yes okay those are working that's good it looks like both of our instruments are working we just need to get in the air which makes sense which makes complete sense so we're going to turn new york is behind us or new york city is behind us so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to begin a turn this way like so this aircraft is very i find this aircraft very very weird to fly some days it flies fantastically and other days it just refuses. So I'm actually going to fly like this. Okay, I think I'm understanding how to use this a horizontal situation indicator in front of us right here. We are coming up on the radial that we want. So in fact, I'm now going to turn us in for that radial. This is actually going quite well. We can see the winds, it's a little bit crazy at the moment. Right, let's get ourselves back on the Canarsi VOR that we want and the radial that we want. Should actually We'll intercept it like that. We were dropping. That's okay. And we'll come along back to the correct radial. Right about there. Come on, straighten up. Straighten up aircraft. There we go. And it looks like the trim is starting to kick in very nicely for the climb. Uh, wind looks like it's blowing from behind us but it's also blowing slightly to the right so I'm just going to adjust yeah I'm just going to adjust my course ever so slightly to climb we're going to try and get to about 2,000 feet today and then hold 2,000 feet let's uh, readjust we're doing the speed that we want to uh, so I'm just going to back off very slightly now on the throttles as we approach 2,000 feet as well see a bridge ahead of us I'm not sure what that bridge is but there is a warning for that bridge uh, the height of that bridge is at 693 feet so I do have to be a little bit wary of that and then just next near there is the Statue of Liberty right we've got ourselves to the to where we want to be um, we're actually off the Canarsie departure right now so we're off the VOR for Canarsie but that's okay I just want to see what's going on and when I tune in for LaGuardia I'm actually going to try and tune in something along the lines of uh, I'm just thinking what do I tune in for LaGuardia I'm going to fly past that bridge we're, we're over we're clear of the bridge like I said I have to be aware of it it's 693 feet so we are a thousand over a thousand feet clear of the bridge which is absolutely fine 
And we are still fairly close to the Kenasi VOR that we wanted, so that's okay as well. I can also see the Statue of Liberty if you look uh, in the top right hand quadrant of the of the screen you can see the Statue of Liberty I think so what bridge is this I'm curious to see what bridge this is so we're going to fly over this bridge right now as you can see we're actually very very close to the VOR itself that's why the reading is going a little bit we're getting very very close and then going off so we're very close to the VR. There's the Statue of Liberty. There is Manhattan Island. So we are going to turn over there. And we've got Ellis Island just near there as well. So this area down here doesn't look too bad. You know, it looks fairly good. I mean, it's not as densely populated as I would prefer or want, but that's okay. The bridge itself is not too bad. I think the roads around it need work. But again, that's not too bad. This way, I believe if I continue this way, we're going to be going towards uh, Newark or something. Newark, uh, Newark Liberty is an airport that's up that in that direction. There's a bridge. It's not too bad. Is that the Queensboro Bridge? No, I don't think so. You see some traffic going below as well, which is not too bad at all. At least the modelling of the bridge is, is fairly accurate. It's a suspension bridge. It's fairly accurate. You can see the... It looks like a highway or something or a main road underneath. Now we're going to swing over this direction. We're going to try and not climb. It's really difficult. This aircraft seems to be way, way more fidgety than any other aircraft I've experienced. It's like it's almost a stunt aircraft. That's what it's like. I mean, you can see how quickly it just... I, I honestly don't think it's modelled as it should be modelled. That's just my personal thoughts. Now, the Statue of Liberty should be ahead of us. So we're actually going to drop down to see the Statue of Liberty. I know we're increasing speed at the moment, but I'm just going to level off about here. It's because I wanted to drop down. So there we go. We should slow down very nicely very soon. In fact, there we go. We are now slowing down. There is the Statue of Liberty, which seems to be done quite nicely on Liberty Island. Then we've got uh, Ellis Island right next to it. I think that's Ellis Island, which I believe was where... Is that where people coming to America? That's where the port was or the docks, and that's where you got your American papers or, or something like that. There's another bridge. Lots of bridges around here. I believe that is Newark Liberty Airport. We're not going over there, though. And that is Statue of Liberty. That is the Statue of Liberty, and she looks fairly good. What do you think? I think she looks fairly good there. I know we're dropping a little bit again, but that's okay. I want to see... There you go. There's the Statue of Liberty. Not too bad. Not too shabby at all. The rest of the buildings seem to be missing, which is annoying. And then we've got the city of New York right over here. New York City is all of this. So we're going to fly over and around New York City now. The uh, World Trade Center is now here. The Twin Towers obviously used to be here until that uh, fateful day where um, obviously everybody knows what happened then. That's an interesting building over there. It looks like a mini Empire State Building right there. You can see that. I see they haven't put the new Freedom Tower in, which would be right in front of us. So that's why I'm flying over this area. A number of uh, high high buildings, or tall buildings, as it were. I think two major. LaGuardia is that way. But there seems to be a lot missing here. I mean, where are all the small buildings gone? And also, I think it, it just doesn't look as densely populated. Yes, all these tall buildings are correct to what they should be so I'm quite happy about that ooh there's a ferry over there I want to go see that ferry I do want to go see that ferry so all these buildings are correct I recognise them all as buildings that you see in New York look you can see that building right there as well and there's the Empire State building you've got the Chrysler building there's that Life building whatever it is but there's the Empire State the Chrysler building I believe is right below us 
yeah, all these buildings are correct, but then everything else seems to be missing around the area, which is a bit confusing. See, these tiny little buildings shouldn't be there. They should be much further out. That's, a that's very confusing to me. So it makes New York seem a little bit sort of odd and misplaced. That's a very tall tower over there. I'm assuming that's actually marked. Yeah, there's so many warnings over here about buildings and the height of buildings. Uh, on the charts that I'm looking at, there are so many warnings. Now let's get ourselves turning anyway. You can see how the aircraft just suddenly wants to climb. So yeah, these buildings aren't... I don't know. I, I really don't know. It's, it's a little bit confusing for me to see to see it like this frame rates apart from that judder frame rates are okay they're nothing special um obviously there are still cars and trucks moving along the roads along the perimeter of new york and like i said newark that way so frame rates yeah they're nothing they're nothing special um obviously a lot of optimization is needed there is more juddering around this city than i would care for but honestly, this does not look nowhere near as built up as the likes of London. And on top of that, I don't know, the roads just don't seem all correct. Make sure I'm not going to run into any building there. There's the Chrysler building right ahead of us. Empire State should be off on this side. There's the Empire State, that's good. You see, they just don't look like they're all correct. There's Central Park right over there the central park building is correct you can see the shape of central park that long square or rectangle right there that's central park then you've got this island where in between the two islands is the the bridges and that's where spider-man in the toby Maguire spider-man there was a little base there for for uh, dr dr octopus so they got all of that lots and lots of bridges around here i think that this one that I'm going over now, the bridge I'm going over now, that I think that is the Queensboro Bridge. I'm not from New York, I'm not from America, as you can probably tell by my accent, that I'm not from America. I am from Britain. So I don't know the areas entirely well. But I know the general, you know, general locations of things and what things should look like. And I do think that uh, we haven't got, we just don't have enough in the way of buildings in this area it just doesn't look right something just looks really wrong and I'm, I'm going to show you again because I'm just going to double back on on myself here and watch what, what what happens when you see New York City you're going to be able to tell that the buildings are there but it it doesn't look right um, with with all the buildings look now I'm going to turn around again yes shut up I need to we need a way to switch those flying tips off I don't care about the flying tips at the moment. Yeah, this, this aircraft is very, very unruly. Very unruly. Right. It just doesn't like turning. It doesn't like... I think, I think this aircraft is not correctly modelled. I'll be honest. I really think this aircraft is not correctly modelled. But have a look. There you go. So you're looking at that and you're like, yes, that looks like New York to me because there's, I can see the Empire State Building, I can see the Chrysler Building, I can see all the different towers, I can see the various buildings that I don't know the names of but I recognize that are in there. So you look at that and you think, oh yeah, that's New York City, but where are all the other buildings? You know, there should be a bunch of other, you can have them to be generic buildings, sure. You can have them as generic buildings, but they need to be there that are a little bit taller that make it look like the city that make it really look like the city because there's all these tiny buildings that are only two two stories or three stories high that shouldn't be there in the middle anyway right here you know there should be a bunch of buildings here that should be a lot taller and there is that i believe that's the queensborough bridge but i don't know anyway laguardia is that way so we're going to now head to laguardia to land this aircraft so let's uh actually get ourselves slowing down now And we're going to actually go for the 225 radial for LaGuardia, so let me set that set that up right now. Two, two five. 
and I'm going to really reduce my speed now as I bring it in. So what we're going to do is we're going to line up with that radial and we're going to try and land on runway uh, 2, 2, wait a minute. That's weird. This thing is telling me what? That I'm too far to the left? Well, there's the airport. I think that's LaGuardia. I'm almost certain that's LaGuardia. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to fly over the airport and then we're going to join a pattern for it. That's what we're going to do as we slow ourselves down. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And as a matter of fact, I found a different runway to land on. I know what, I know what runway I want to land on. So we're actually going to join a right-hand pattern now for the airport. And we're going to try and land on runway where we're, go we're about to find out because we're going to have to fly over it and we'll, we'll have a look for ourselves. Can I get a reading for that runway? See, that's runway 4, and which is 2-2 two, two on the opposite side. That's where I was going to land. But let's take runway 13, and then what's the opposite of runway 13 for us? Runway 3-1? So we'll, we'll, take, we'll take runway 3-1. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, so we'll take runway 3-1 right now. So we're going to drop ourselves down very nicely. Join the, join the approach and the right-hand pattern for runway 3-1. Obviously, I have to be aware. This aircraft, this aircraft is something else it is. Keeping the nose coming down, we're at one and a half thousand feet. So we turn to a heading of one three at this point. So 130 degrees. There we go. That's our downwind leg. There's the airport right there, you can see it. I don't have the ILS for LaGuardia, that's why I can't... Um, uh, wow, this aircraft. That's why I can't just tune in the ILS, because I don't actually have the ILS for it. That's okay. Ah, that seems to be right now with the LaGuardia VOR. I must have read it wrong, or I must have set it up wrong or something. In fact, no, I did. That's what I did. I set it up wrong. Yeah, that's what it is. So what I can actually do is, if I set this up to be 3-1, uh, yeah, let's, let's try 1-3 then. Still dropping to 1,000 feet, which is absolutely fine. I just want to try this. Right, slow the aircraft down further. We're at a thousand feet now, beginning the final turn. We don't want to climb. That's good. Flaps. Keep it turning. There we go. Keep it turning. And gear. Here's the airport. We are level here where we need to be. I'm just going to line up with the airport now. We turn on to final very soon. And turn to final. Don't climb, don't climb. Trying to hold 90 knots here. Another stage of flaps. Keep the aircraft going around. There we go. Okay, there we go. In we go. Very nice. Another stage of flaps. Right, now, here comes the problem. Because it's going to be a crosswind landing... Is that uh, the baseball stadium? Huh. 
Now, because it's going to be a crosswind landing, this is going to be a problem. There's New York City again. See, from here, it looks pretty much like New York City. I quite like that. Um, right. What I need to do is I need to... Yeah, so, a wings... And if you want to know all about crosswind landings and how to take off and fly in crosswinds, watch my flight simulator tutorial series. Another episode coming out tomorrow. And that teaches about crosswind takeoff, landing. In fact, it's a three-part. It's going to teach about crosswind takeoffs, crosswind landings, flying in crosswinds, and methods for it as well. Right, so because I don't know exactly which way the wind's blowing, I'm only guessing here. Actually, no, I think I've worked it out. I think I've worked it out, okay. Right. Yep, I think I've got it. It's that way. There we go. Right. This is going to be a very rough landing. I have to admit. It's this no this gear I want down first. Ooh, come on that one down first it's floating but I'd rather have it floating than crashing down there we go all right we're down turn ailerons into the wind and turn the rudder the opposite way bring the flaps up to make sure that we don't s slide off the runway you'll see all about this um, in the tutorials and I'll do a much better job of flying the aircraft in the tutorials, I assure you. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn off on a... Should we turn off on this runway? No, let's turn off on this taxiway right here. Not too bad an episode, I think. Interesting bridge right ahead of us, I must say. Let's turn off here onto a snowy taxiway and look at that from here you look at New York City and you're like yep that looks like New York City and they've done a really good job there but it's when you get into New York City it's a little bit just a little bit of a problem but I'm going to end it there thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on Flight Sim World this is a nightmare of taxiways look at this Papa onto Bravo Bravo Golf left and right, we're on Bravo Bravo. What are we on at the moment? Alpha? Alpha Alpha? That's Papa, we're crossing Papa. Uh oh god. I think we're on Alpha. Or Alpha Alpha. I think we're on Alpha Alpha. Yeah, that's Bravo Bravo next to us, so we must be on Alpha Alpha. That's golf on that side. So if we turn on to golf. I just want to get a nice screenshot potentially of New York City, which actually that's not too bad a screenshot. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, like I said, like, subscribe, uh, support me on Patreon if you can. Support me on Patreon, that would be a massive, massive support to me. Uh, if you've got a couple of dollars you can spare, that would be really, really helpful. A uh, link to that is in the description box below. So do go check that out and uh, stay tuned for the 2,000 subscriber special where I'll be flying uh, in Flight Simulator 10 and I'll be uh, flying a PMDG 737 for the first time in two, two and a half years. So that's going to be a little bit interesting. So we'll have to see what happens there. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time as I am on now what? Charlie Charlie? I have no idea. I'll see you guys next time.